Well, it seems the ATF is under a little pressure from both senators from Arkansas on the raid that they basically murdered Brian Malinowski in. Let's talk about it because I told you I would keep you up to date with everything that unfolds from this case because I think it's important and I hope the ATF gets held accountable, but we know the chances of that are that much, just about that much. If you want more information on the Second Amendment and what happens across the country, subscribe to this channel right down below. That little red button doesn't cost you a nickel, just gets you in the loop, and I want you to stay in the loop because it's important. And before we jump into the ATF craziness, uh, I want to thank the sponsor of the video, that's the Sportsman's Guide. For everything you need to enjoy the fun, freedom, and traditions of the outdoors, you got to check out sportsmansguide.com. From hunting and fishing to camping and hiking and just hanging around the bonfire in the backyard, you'll find it all at Sportsman's Guide. They have tree stands, blinds, rods and reels, ATV accessories, clothing and footwear, and they have just about everything. Check them out. The bottom line is if it happens outdoors, you'll find it at Sportsman's Guide. I want to give you a heads up. Right now, all Walker's Game Ear Pro is on sale until April 27th. And here's a tip. If you join the Buyer's Club, you'll get 10% off most every item. You'll get 5% off all ammunition every single day, and you'll get free shipping once you hit $49. As well as on purchases that are over $150, you can split that into four interest-free installments, which makes it easy to afford new gear, new Freedom Seeds, and Freedom Seed distribution devices. I wanna thank Sportsman's Guy. They sent me the uh, Hornady Super Performance Match and some American Gunner Hornady uh, self-defense rounds. And this is going to be coming in huge because I just got something new that I want to go play with. So a big thanks to Sportsman's Guide. You get to check them out right down in the link below. Uh, if you use code GADGETS as well, you'll save $20 off the first 100 bucks you spend. Thank you, Sportsman's Guide. Appreciate you. All right, so let's get into this. I want to show you something that came out uh, yesterday from Senator Tom Cotton. And we'll see what you think after I read it to you. Now, it's technically a joint statement between Senators Tom Cotton and Senator John Boozman. And Senator Cotton said, The Department of Justice confirmed to me and John Boozman last night that the ATF agents involved in the execution of a search warrant of the home of Brian Malinowski weren't wearing body cameras. We will continue to press the department to explain how this violation of its own policy could have happened and to disclose the full circumstances of this tragedy. Mr. Malinowski's family and the public have a right to a full accounting of the facts. So, shocker? Surprised? Sorry, not sorry, ATF, I guess. Yeah, the ATF violated its own policy on body cams. They also covered up his camera as they approached his front door, which, if somebody hits my, you know, rings my doorbell or whatever, or sets it off, the first thing I do is look at it so I can see if it's friend or foe, and then act accordingly. I'm sure Brian Malinowski was no different. Remember, he's being charged with basically legally purchasing firearms, but where he screwed up is that he sold them faster than the federal government prefers he does. Now, what those people he bought that bought those from him, some of those weren't uh, on the up and up with Malinowski, and you know he would have had to atone for that because he checked off on the unconstitutional 4473 that those guns were for him and some of them were sold within 24 hours but there's no need to murder this man over it they could have done many things they could have got him at work pulled him over stopped him at one of the gun shows they tra tracked him to they had a tracker on his vehicle all kinds of things so i went in to the uh, the google machine and i found the atf's policy on body cams check it out it's atf order 302 20.4 and the department established this order June 2nd of 2022 and it's due for renewal June 2 of 2027. Now we'll go down to six. It says use of body worn cameras during federal task force operations. A, unless subject to specific exemptions below, TFOs, that's task force operators, employed by ATF that mandate the use of body worn cameras on federal task forces may wear and activate their recording equipment for the purpose of recording their actions during task force operations only during one, a pre-planned attempt to serve an arrest warrant or other pre-planned arrest, two, the execution of a search warrant. Well, that's here. TFOs are authorized to activate their body-worn cameras upon approaching a subject or premises and must deactivate their body-worn camera 
when the scene is secured as determined by a federal supervisor on the scene as designated by the ATF 03210.1C operational plan. For purposes of this policy, the term secured means that the scene is safe and under law enforcement control. Now, what are some of the exceptions? B, if there are unanticipated interactions with the public or other exigent circumstances, such as contentious or violent interactions that could lead to the use of force, TFOs will, if and when it's safe to do so, reactivate their body worn cam, either before, during, or after pre-planned arrest or execution of a search warrant. Well, that doesn't apply here because it said an unanticipated interaction. They totally anticipated kicking this dude's door down at 6.03 a.m. and scaring the bewilderment out of him, startling him, which his family believes he, Mr. Malinowski was believing that, were, that that was an intruder and acted accordingly to save him and his wife. Shootout ensued, ATF agent was shot, uh, Malinowski was shot in the head where he went to the hospital and later died. This doesn't apply. C, in the event circumstances arise requiring additional law enforcement assistance to secure the scene, the TFO will end body-worn cam recording when relieved from the scene by another law enforcement agency, meaning local PD has control, local PD, their cameras would be primary. Doesn't apply here either. D, TFOs are prohibited from recording, one, undercover personnel, two, confidential informants or confidential sources, three, on-scene witnesses, interviews prior to or after the operation, four, personnel using specialized or sensitive investigative techniques or equipment, or five, on-scene actions by any non-law enforcement persons who are assisting law enforcement personnel prior to or after the operation. Doesn't apply here either. E, TFOs are prohibited from activating the BWC if the TFO is using specialized or sensitive investigative techniques, operating in a sensitive area, or working in an undercover or covert status on behalf of the Federal Task Force or ATF. Again, does not apply in this situation. F, subject to the discretion of ATF, TFOs generally will not use their BWCs to record any activities related to investigations involving public corruption, medical facilities, national security, or other sensitive investigations. Again, does not apply here. G, ATF's policy permitting the limited use of body-worn cams on task forces does not apply to highly specialized or sensitive operations or groups as determined by ATF. And finally, H, authorization procedures for TFO BWC use must be consistent with any policy or procedure established by ATF, specifically blah, 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 blah. So ATF violated their own policy. Shocker. Now, what will the senators do other than, will they do anything other than, you know, bang the drums, bang their fists, and maybe send a letter that will do nothing? Uh, we'll see, but I wanted to bring you this most recent uh, situation that came out where ATF now was not wearing body cam uh, body cameras during the uh, assassination raid of Brian Malinowski. Let me know what you guys and gals think down below, and I know ATF watches my videos. If you guys and gals have the balls to do it, maybe force the people in your department to do what's right or be a whistleblower and make them do what's right. You took an oath to the Constitution, not to tyrants. You know going in the way you did was going to elicit two responses. One of them would result the way it did and there were many other ways to avoid that scenario. We both know that. Maybe be the bigger man, be the bigger woman, and help America fix itself from within. <laughs> we'll see. Guys and gals, appreciate each and every single one of you. Subscribe to the channel down below. Help me get to my 700,000 subscriber dream for my birthday of July 25th. You can do that by just hitting the button right down below. Appreciate you. Take care.